welcome to this DDI CAD cast. I'm Michael Nolte. Today we're going to be covering uh, how to use the SOLIDWORKS Composer Player. This is a user's guide. First thing I want to cover with this DDI CAD cast is the fact that uh, we need to find out where we can download and install the, uh, the Composer Player. So I'm going to go out to SOLIDWORKS.com uh, and then from the support drop down I can either go down to uh, downloads uh, or if I actually click on support itself uh, that'll take me to the support page and then I click the downloads link here. On the downloads link the, the first few tabs are going to be for the subscription customers that have maintenance on full-blown products like SOLIDWORKS and Composer. Uh, we're going to jump over to the free CAD tools tab here and on the free CAD tools you'll actually see that we've got the 32-bit and the 64-bit of the Composer player. Uh, so click on it, uh, it'll ask you to save it. Once you save it, uh, go and install it, uh, and it's a pretty straightforward process. And let's go and jump over to, into the Composer Player now. Alright, so this is the SOLIDWORKS Composer Player. I uh, happen to have the 64-bit. Um, I'm going to go and open up one of the documents I was uh, working on here. Um, open dialogs just like any other Windows program, so there's nothing uh, unique to that. You can also do the Control o there to get the open window there. Uh, I'll go and open it up. And again, notice that it is loading the um, the native uh, SMG extension. Uh, it will, however, open a few other extensions like the SMG XML or the SMG project file. Uh, so here's a, a an assembly, basically a, a whole procedure for uh, putting this uh, part together. Uh, we've got our standard views over here on the left, so this one's a, a pretty thorough one where they had steps for the entire process. Uh, so I can double click to go to any of the uh, the views there. Uh, or I can also drag one of the views into the graphics area, so drag it with the left mouse button, drop it in there, and it'll take me to that particular view. Uh, so that's pretty straightforward as far as switching views and stuff. Um, one of the other options that we have here is we've got some play buttons up here at the top uh, and this is for the play uh, going through the views so if I hit the play button with the camera below it it's just gonna cycle through all the different views and again this one's a pretty thorough uh, setup uh, procedure for this particular uh, pump here uh, but it's walking through every single step alright so go ahead and stop that you've got uh, next and uh, previous uh, buttons there um, Next to it, though, we actually have a set of buttons for our uh, animation. So if there is an animation uh, in the SMG file, it's going to give us that. Uh, if I hit the play button, uh, you'll see that this particular one does have an interactive step to it. So if I click on the part, it'll proceed on to the next step. Um, I have to warn you, though, there is um, some... Uh, issues with the uh, auto replay if that's turned on with a lot of interactive uh, videos so I recommend shutting that button off uh, so it's not turned on so now I can click on the next part it'll move on uh, and, and again so on and so forth it's allowing me with this particular one again it depends on the particular way that the person that created the composer file has set it up whether or not they're a, uh, you're able to assemble a, m a model or or at any point you want to just rotate it around and, and zoom it in uh, so it is kind of the creator but um, as far as navigation goes um, the left mouse button uh, allows you to uh, to drag select around objects uh, the right mouse button allows us to rotate okay so right mouse button is rotate um, if you have a mouse that have a scroll wheel on it, um, the scroll wheel allows you to zoom in to the area that your cursor is at. I don't know if you can see it or not, but my little plus uh, of my cursor is uh, in between the middle of these bolts there, and that's where it zooms in on. Uh, if I do a double click with my middle mouse button, that's a zoom fit. Uh, also, if I do a double click with my left mouse button, so middle wheel or left mouse button is a zoom fit there. Uh, Let's see, so uh, with uh, pressing down on the wheel though, uh, gives you your pan. So if I needed to zoom into an area, rotate with my right mouse button, and then middle button will allow me to pan left or right through the, the assembly there. 
Another uh, very useful tool within the uh, the composer player is the, f the ability of uh, gaining access to the digger. Uh, it shows up in one of the drop downs here for the digger. Uh, you can also hit the uh, the space bar to toggle on the uh, the digger on or off. Uh, the digger, if you've never seen it before, it's kind of like a detail circle, but it does a lot more. Um, there is a uh, show hide toolbars uh, button there, so the little wrench icon, make sure you hit that. Uh, lower right hand corner allows you to adjust the size of it. Upper right allows you to uh, adjust the percentage of the particular item that you're on. So I'm currently on a zoom, so that allows me to zoom in and out of the model. Uh, one of the useful ones is the x-ray. Uh, allows you to actually peel away the inside of the model uh, as you can actually see the uh, the inside of it and stuff uh, based off of where the percentage is at. So again, uh, spacebar or the um, uh, the digger tool in the upper right there. Uh, some of the other stuff that's very useful, if I need to hide a part, I just select the part, hit the H key, and it'll hide that particular part. And I can rotate it around and see what the other side uh, might look like uh, or the inside of the part. Uh, I do have a full selection of uh, show all, geometry, uh, uh, visibility stuff there. Uh, if the person has enabled it, um, I do also have the ability of doing uh, markups, uh, labels, uh, and uh, dimensions. Uh, maybe I wanted to throw on a uh, 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 distance between two planes, uh, so I might go uh, between maybe that face right here. Uh, and I'll probably maybe pick the face over on the other side. Uh, get myself an angle there between those two. Or I might even do something a little bit simpler and just do a, a straight uh, linear edge. Um, let's see if I can get the edge there and drop the dimension. Uh, this is only a temporary item. This stuff does not get written back to uh, the model. Uh, but it does uh, come in handy if I need to do a save as. Uh, and save it as a, uh, a JPEG or a bitmap file. So it is kind of handy for uh, feedback back to the, the original. Uh, mark something up and, and get it changed the, the way you need it to. Uh, anytime I switch back to another view, those items are going to be uh, uh, removed from the model there. All right, next item I want to cover is the uh, ability of uh, turning on some of the additional toolbars there. I'll go and turn on the render. That shows up on the uh, the left over there. Uh, and also go and turn on the uh, the camera views. Uh, camera views are great if I need to get a p particular orientation. Uh, they're set up so if you click on them twice, the first time it will give you the front, second time it will give you the back. Same thing with top uh, versus bottom there. And I do also have these perspective ones as well, or any specific angle ones that were saved with the file. That's the one through four there. Um, over here on the render one, um, I have things like the ground I can turn on, shadows, um, reflections, so I have a few of those, um, and also the render style, so maybe the, a particular part's harder to see, I might change to a different render style there. Uh, so those are all very useful items uh, within the composer player uh, to be able to, to kind of see the models. And again, the only reason for um, changing some of this stuff is that if I needed to save as and send it back, uh, to somebody and make a, a red line or a revision change or something like that or just need to illustrate a single step over to somebody. Uh, that's also a great way to, to save out that single image there. Alright, some of the other items here is I have a, uh, a button up here for the assembly. Uh, so if I click on that, uh, it'll expand out my assembly. Uh, tab there, uh, and if I expand out my full assembly, one of the nice items here is if I click on one of the parts, uh, it'll actually take me to that part, and if it's part of a sub-assembly, you'll see that it's uh, treed out uh, in a uh, different level there. Uh, so that's actually one of the great aspects of kind of uh, uh, interpreting or understanding what's going on in a particular model. Uh, next button over here is the uh, bill of material. Uh, so if you happen to be on a view, and this is view specific sometimes, um, I'm uh, currently on my initial view of my animation. Uh, markers down here at the bottom real quick, those are just different points in time uh, that are stored within animation. So the, that's the, um, uh, the markers there. Uh, but back here on the BOM tab, so uh, because there's a BOM for that initial view of, of the animation, uh, it gives me a full list of all the, the parts in the uh, the tree there. Uh, this one uh, does also respond the same way. If I click on the part, it'll highlight that particular item. 
uh, so it takes me to, to where that's at in the tree. Uh, most of the time when you get this from somebody you won't have a bunch of parts that are just labeled copy. You'll actually have regular descriptions with them. Uh, back up here on the toolbar, a uh, couple of other items to address. Uh, one is we have this uh, show hide paper. Uh, what that is uh, essentially the save area uh, that if I was to save this out as a, a JPEG uh, that's the area that it would save. So if I was zoomed in too far it's not going to save anything outside the, the piece of paper area. Uh, next one over is a um, um, full screen mode. Next one over from that uh, is a settings mode. Uh, settings, if you're running a composer player on a machine that doesn't have a whole lot of horsepower behind it, you might need to change to a profile that has a either high speed or safe. Uh, you are going to lose some of the, uh, the, the image quality of it. Uh, let me zoom in there so you can see the change in the image quality. Uh, but then also uh, you may also lose some of the, uh, the, the color quality as well too. Uh, there are a few other settings there that you can change, uh, but there is a help button in the lower right hand corner uh, that allows you to, uh, to uh, make changes there. Uh, next button open over uh, is the circle with the eye on it. Uh, this one gives you the information of what's been allowed with this particular composer document. Uh, so saved with this SMG they're allowing the items that are highlighted in green. Uh, the ones that are red uh, are ones that aren't allowed. So this is set up uh, in the SOLIDWORKS comp uh, Composer program uh, and uh, they dictate what you're allowed to do. So if they didn't want me to see the BOM uh, that would show up in red here and then I wouldn't be able to gain access to the, the BOM. So it all depends on what the, the, the creator is set for. That's all the stuff that I have for today. Definitely check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash ddicad and our tech blog uh, at ddicad.com forward slash tech center. That's where we have all our tech blogs and our uh, videos posted as well. Thanks and have a great day.